Hey guys, so I just did this whole video about this little door and then I went to watch it and realized that the light that I had put on it was super glaring. So I'm going to redo the video and because I don't want you to just see glare all the time on there. So this is the little door that I installed in the um, master bedroom that you'll see before this video. And, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to redo the whole thing so you can see how I did it. So we start with crimson and purple and we mix that just a little bit of white and we build this door just by bringing it around like this. You make your little shape here like that. And thankfully I'm working in oil, so it'll clear off what I've already done so that I can re-show you <laughs> how I did it. So I'm using this little tiny brush here and all I'm doing is blending some crimson and some purple and a little white and I'm bringing it in an oval shape like this, kind of like a train tunnel. And actually I kind of like how this is blending now because there was a little bit of Payne's gray there that I just cleaned up because that's where the hinges were. And basically you're just, I'm just trying to get like a var variegated color. I don't want a solid color because I'm not a, I like, I like extra colors. And I also, to get the mouse door ideas, I tend to just look at really old, antique, ornate doors and just study how they look. And that's what I base my little mouse doors are on. We don't have that many of those kind of doors in our area. So mostly I look online for pictures of old doors and I never copy them. But it gives me an idea of how I want my little doors to look. But I'm really excited to be back in the studio and not working on walls anymore. Okay, and then what I did next is took some Payne's Gray and built a frame. And that I just do all the way around the edges of this door. Around there, because you want to have a frame for the door. And then next, it's a good idea to place your window because every door, especially a mouse door, because you know they're very timid and they have to be very careful and they've got to look out their little window before they answer their door. And it doesn't matter what kind of shape. Today I decided to do a triangle. Um, sometimes a circle would be great or half moon. Whatever you feel like is really the best thing. Then I bring some white in to the corners here. And later I'll add a little bit of orangey yellow in those spots. So it looks like, you know, light from inside. And then I'm gonna grab some more Payne's Gray and bring that down the middle here and across so it has its nice little frame. And it's not super um, perfect, but I feel that mice are not particular creatures so I think they'll be fine. Okay, now we get to do the hinges, and the hinges are so fun. Now, also, I should point out, I meant to point out, this little tiny, tiny canvas, and it's flat. So it's really perfect for mouse doors that you put on the wall. So, and because they're so small, they're easy to move around and do as you need to. So what I'm going to do is I start at the bottom for the hinge and I make it pretty wide to start out so your larger hinge is going to be on the bottom and I like to make them as ornate as possible so I'm going to drag this across and then I start doing curls and it's just however you want to do one you know it could have straight edges little arrows but I love 
of the girls. So, and I hope you can see this better than the last video. Sometimes the problem is I can't really tell while I'm doing the video and then I look at the video and I'm like, wow, that's just impossible for everyone to see. Okay, so now we've got a couple of cur curls and I'll do a few more. And I also, whoops, change that out a little bit. I don't know, I might like that little wobbly thing. I also, it doesn't have to be straight across. It can be, you know, let's see, I think I'm gonna bring that down out there. It doesn't have to be level. It can curl upward, which I actually kind of think is cool. Like doing it like that. That's really what I was going for. And then I messed up. So nice thing about oil, is you can clear that away. Let's see if you can see this without too much glare. It's an issue working with oil for sure is a glare. And then, so I have this one kind of swinging upwards which I like. And then I'll be bringing another one across here, but not as large because we have that window. And I kind of like that idea. And then, which is fun because it's your painting. You do what you want. And mice are mice, you know, they live in an imaginary world. <laughs> okay, we're starting to get somewhere there. And then we need a doorknob right here. Let's see, right there, we'll just make a nice round doorknob. I don't do a whole lot with doorknobs, to be honest. But you can make an ornate one if you want. It's totally up to you. And anyway, I'm going to keep working on the detail on that later, but I just kind of wanted to show you how I was doing it. See if we have better light right there. I don't know, light is difficult. All right, and I got a, oh, I have a new camera so I'm just kind of experimenting with it so now I'm going to grab some green evergreen green because what this little mess going on here is going to be a vine like that so we're just going to put a vine all the way across and around this house here and then later, which you'll see before, before this video is out, because I wanted to do this video after you saw the results of the, the bedroom, the master bedroom there, because um, I wanted you to see it on the wall before I did a video um, or played the video where I worked on it. I'll show you how I worked on it. So I'm just basically guessing where some vine might grow. And then I'm adding little leaves. And I add a little white to it here and there. And I'm actually think, I did think I would make this the same color as the wall in the bedroom, but I think I'm just gonna fill it with vines. Um, and then on the wall, I don't know if I mentioned it already, on the wall I'm gonna put a lamp post because every little mouse house should have a Narnia type lamp post outside their door don't you think and then I'm going to add some flowers in there and I think I'll just use the crimson straight with a little bit of white and it's really just dabbing in some color that's all you're doing right there and this is looking pretty good so I'm just going to fill this vine that grows all the way around this lovely little house, little door. I thought it would be really funny <laughs> to add this to the bedroom since, you know, it was mice that made us change the work on the bedroom. <laughs> I figured this would be a great way to be, well, to express my really weird sense of humor. So I don't like how that's working, but it's okay. I can come in and take some crimson and some white dab it around here and you won't even notice so there you go we're starting to get somewhere on this you can see it a little better um more detail i'll be doing a little more black um paints gray in here and some highlights with a little bit of white but that's about it it's a pretty simple 
painting, and I, I really enjoy doing little mouse doors. I used to do quite a lot of them, and kind of gotten away from that, but that, this would be a great opportunity for it. A lot of times when I'm doing vines, I like to put in the flowers first. I just kind of do it all together. And then I'll come in and get some, grab some green and pop it in different places. But I think that the paint is getting just a little too thick is the problem. So we'll add a little oil. Now I'm using a natural oil and I've experimented to see if it dries and it does. So I experimented with it before I started because I had the water base oils. Um, I didn't quite like it as much. So I switched back, but wanted some different um, oil to blend with it because that's the part that's a problem. Okay, so I kind of don't like that. We're gonna bring that up. I think we need to bring a little white in with the green. There you go. Anyway, I'm going to be working on this for a while. It takes a little time. I hope you're all having a great time in your different crafts and art that you're doing, and I hope you're taking time to do it. Um, this time of year is good. It's nice and cold outside, so it's a good time to be working inside and building your little whatever you do. Do you work with wood? Do you um, paint? Do you? work with yarn. I have friends who love um, knitting. I, I don't. I lose track too easy. <laughs> so I'm not. I, I've knit some. I kind of find it soothing, but the problem is, is I forget um, what I'm doing because <laughs> my mind wanders too much. And so then I'm like, wait a minute, what, what, what number was I on? And then I have a very crooked uh, project what I find. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to be filling this whole thing in with a little bit of green, a little bit of white, a little bit of flower. Just, I try to do like a darker line so it looks like a vine. Give it the shape of, oh right, that's a vine and it has roses hanging all over it. So that's what I'm going for. All right, so this was after I showed you the reveal, so you've already seen what it looks like finished. But uh, I hope it was a funny, happy thing. And, of course, it's hidden behind the door, so it's not like, <laughs> like a major thing. Anyway, all right, well, it's been really nice to be back in the studio. I hope you can see that better. Uh, keep working uh, with the new camera and lighting to make sure you can see it really much better. And it's got a little ways to go, but I don't want to keep you for the hours that it'll take to finish. So, but I wanted to give you an idea of how I make a little mouse doors. Have a great day, guys. Bye.